Welcome to our in-depth guide on the Occultist class in New World Eternum. If you're looking for a unique, powerful, and versatile class that combines the elemental forces of fire and ice, then you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or you're diving into high-level PvE and PvP, the Occultist offers an exciting playstyle that balances massive burst damage with crowd control and mobility. And in this guide, we'll cover everything you need to know about mastering this class, from skill rotations to gear recommendations, and how to scale your build as you level up. Let's get into it. The Occultist is a mystical and enigmatic class that harnesses the raw elemental power of both the fire staff and the ice gauntlet by combining the high burst damage of the fire staff with the control and damage over time abilities of the ice gauntlet this class offers a strategic methodical playstyle. it excels in both solo play and group content making it a versatile and powerful option as you journey through a turn let's explore how the occultist stands out in the early game and how it transitions smoothly into late game meta builds alongside this the occultist probably has the best starting skill boost with 50 mining smelting and jewelry crafting gear, which are some of the most most expensive to level, making the Occultist possibly the best choice even if it is just for the trade skill boosts. In the early game, the Occultist shines by utilizing both offensive and defensive abilities to maintain control over the battlefield. The Fire Staff provides high burst damage and excellent mobility through abilities like Burnout, while also offering powerful ranged attacks. Meanwhile, the Ice Gauntlet brings crowd control with slows, roots, and area of effect spells like Ice Storm. This combination allows you to lock down enemies while steadily whittling away their health. One of the main reasons the Occultist is ideal for new players Players is the combination of sustained damage and crowd control. The Ice Gauntlet's Ice Storm and Ice Shower provide long-lasting control over large groups of enemies, which makes it easier to avoid damage while dealing consistent damage over time. The Fire Staff's abilities like Pillar of Fire and Burnout give you massive burst damage and escape options, allowing you to maintain offensive power while staying mobile. With this blend of AoE damage and crowd control, the Occultus is highly effective in solo play for questing and leveling, while also being invaluable in group content due to its ability to kite and control enemies. As you progress into the mid game, the challenges of PvE and PvP content increase in difficulty. While the Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet remain potent tools, you may want to start focusing on specific builds to keep up with the meta and late game content. The Ice Gauntlet continues to provide excellent control and AoE damage, but as you face tougher enemies, mastering the Fire Staff's powerful single target and AoE burst becomes crucial. By focusing on maximizing your damage output with both weapons, you'll be able to handle expeditions in elite zones where AoE and crowd control are highly valued. The Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet combo remains a strong choice for the late game. The Ice Gauntlet's abilities like Ice Storm and Ice Pylon allow you to control large groups of enemies in dungeons or PvP encounters, making it an indispensable tool for crowd control. Meanwhile, the Fire Staff's Meteor Shower and Burnout offer incredible AoE and single target damage, perfect for both PvP and PvE, while maintaining mobility to dodge mechanics in tough encounters. The synergy between freezing effects and high burst damage makes this combo a powerful asset in both dungeons and wars, allowing you to control and eliminate key targets quickly. Let's talk skill trees now, starting with the Fire Staff. When using the Fire Staff, you should aim to use abilities on cooldown and chain them with Ice Gauntlet abilities for maximum effect. If you prefer more mobility, you can switch out Fireball for Burnout. Pillar of Fire is a skill shot that deals damage to enemies within a 2.5 meter radius where you aim the ability. Meteor Shower, on the other hand, shoots an area of effect barrage of fireballs at the target inflicting significant fire damage but you need to be careful as this ability can lock you in an animation and leave you vulnerable. Fireball shoots a heavy fireball that damages all enemies in a 3 meter radius and it's a reliable source of AoE damage. Now moving on to the Ice Gauntlet. The Ice Gauntlet has very strong crowd control and damage capabilities. You'll want to use your Ice Wall to block enemies and then drop Ice Storm on them for AoE damage. Ice Pylon can be placed strategically for consistent damage or used as a shield to take aggro from mobs when you are in a dangerous situation. Ice Wall can also be used to stop and group up mobs at the edges of walls or obstacles, allowing you to get the most out of your AoE abilities. This ability can also apply a small rend or give you space to escape tight situations. Ice Storm is a large AoE ability that chills and damages enemies within its radius. Using Ice Storm on tightly grouped mobs, especially when combined with Meteor Shower from the Fire Staff, can lead to quick kills. When it comes to attribute points, the Occultist class primarily relies on Intelligence as its main scaling stat, making it a potent offensive class in both PvE and PvP. While Intelligence is the primary stat, adding some constitution is important for survivability especially in high-end content let's break down how to allocate your points effectively first intelligence since this is your main scaling stat it's essential to maximize it to ensure you're outputting as much damage as possible you'll want to aim for 400 to 500 intelligence depending on how tanky you need to be in specific scenarios constitution is your secondary stat and while intelligence remains the focus having a baseline of constitution helps avoid being too fragile especially in pvp or challenging pve encounters for a glass cannon build you can stick to 
50 constitution, which provides minor sustain between fights, but offers no major survivability. For a balanced build, aim for around 100 constitution, which gives a solid amount of health and survivability for most PvE and PvP content. For those focusing on PvP or high-end PvE content, 150 constitution is ideal, offering a significant increase in survivability through increased max health and physical armor. The best weapon perks for the occultists include Vicious, Enchanted, Empowering Fireball or Meteor Shower, Unending Thor, Refreshing Move, and Keen. These perks will maximize your damage output and provide more control over fights. As for armor, it's best to stick with light armor for increased mobility and damage, though medium armor is also viable if you need more survivability. In the early game, you won't have access to the best gear, but you should still focus on the main damage perks to maximize your effectiveness. Recommended armor perks include Enchanted Ward, Refreshing Health, and Pylon Burst. Combining these with artifact gear like the Elemental Band matched with Nimble Coat or the Grey Wizard's Hat can create a powerful build for the Occultist. Ultimately, the Occultist class is all about strategic play, making it an excellent choice for those who enjoy a mix of elemental damage and crowd control. By mastering the fire staff and ice gauntlet and carefully balancing intelligence and constitution, you can become a dominant force in Eternum's toughest content. Amen. It's a wrap on our guide for the occultist class in New World. If you're looking for a class that gives you control over your enemies and the battlefield, or dishing out powerful elemental damage, the Occultus is your perfect choice. Whether you're bailing through quests, dungeons, or diving into PvP, the combination of the Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet will keep you ahead of the competition. If you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and build breakdowns on everything New World. See you in Eternal.